chairs in AutoCAD. So here is a, a scan of a sketch which I did and I'm going to teach you nine types of chairs how to make it in AutoCAD uh, which is like really simple and it, uh, you will learn it. You can choose any of it whichever you feel that is the easiest to draw. You can just choose it and draw. It is very easy. So let's start with this first thing. So uh, if you understand the basic is a circle. So first you have to make a circle for it. I'll just make it over here so you can see uh, the chair also. So I'm I'm not taking the scale and the anthropometry in uh, consideration right now. So for scale and anthropometry, you have to take care of it. So just uh, be sure that you take care of it. Then offset a little bit. I'll just uh, set through and I'll choose whatever I like. So I've got a double line right over here. So as you can see, there are uh, cross bracings right over here. So first we'll make the seating uh, very, uh, I think you can go with a common, uh, common or random a uh, rectangle lunar shape or something like that and after that what you have to do is uh, you just have to offset or uh, like if you could also copy this line just do array and write like many like I'll say 30 right 30 and set 30 right over here and as you can see the rest are not needed just trim it off just uh, going to trim it off so uh, yeah okay I missed one okay that's it for this one after that what we are going to do is we're going to make this three supports of the seating which is very simple two lines you can just uh, you can also do your creativity right over here you can extend this and do it in a different way like it's a chair made out of waste or something like that so you can also do your creativity on this as i'm doing right now as i sketch something different but in autocad i'm doing something different so it's completely all right so for the support you have to go a little bit uh, back like uh, something like this side over here and then i'll say you have you should mirror this thing because it has to be similar all the way around uh, turn on the ortho always uh, just mirror this thing yes we'll specify the center point at this and uh, erase the source object no of course then extend it and touch it right over here if it is coming out from here then uh, you have to trim it off i also don't want this one so i'll trim that off after that i also don't want this so i'll trim it off I'll extend this button. You can also do it with lengthen. It's a very easy command. So I'll do it with lengthen. It's simple. So till here at the same edge, you have to do it. And from here, you have to make a line right over here. And then turn off the ortho again. And then what you have to do is you have to uh, offset this circle. Or you can also uh, make an arc over here right from here to here and then we can just edit it because we have three point arc so it's simple to edit it where uh, however whatever you want so right over here you have to place its support as you can see we'll just set the support as we like it or as whatever we want we can do it in AutoCAD as creative as you want to be you can be so as this is said, then you have to trim off the edges that are not uh, not necessary or not needed. Just after this, you have to offset this again and also go with through. As I told before, I'm not taking uh, consideration of scale and anthropometry both. So you have to take care of it at any cost in your design. So that's it. Here is your first chair design, which was really, really simple so for second one as we are going is this one for this we, as you can see the basic outline is something like this so for that we'll make three uh, lines by turning on the ortho right over here one two and right three over here after that for this we are going to for the front front portion we are going to make an arch 
when we will of course edit it we are going to make an arch and we are going to edit it right over here oh, oops oops okay right over here the arc is making a bit difficult for us to play so we'll just stretch it as you can see the shape we have attained it so for uh, for this handles like the armrests what we have to do is we have to make it either a different stretch let's say we are making it over here then offset with some angle uh, not taking a uh, scale anything then you have to use the command fillet and you have to make the angles right over here and also you have to make it over here so as you make it over here just select this uh center line of this both things and place it in the uh chairs center right over here then select this thing make it one or it's okay if you don't also make it it's also okay then select the mid midpoint of this chair and uh, mirror it again erase the source object of course not and then you make the second handle armrest right over here and after that we are going to make uh, make the back support which is uh, let's say offset through over to here then mirror this thing from the midpoint no we don't need the middle part then of course you have to cancel it so after this what we are going to do is of course we need uh, this thing of the same for the backrest we are, just, we are just going to put it right over here and then just move it a bit then again a arc then we want it in this direction so we'll just make it in this direction set it on this point and make it right over here that it touches the the supports on the rest and yeah that's it there's your second chair in action you made in AutoCAD like just in like two minutes and you will have to like uh, search for this thing as a card block like hours ago and this is created by you manufactured by you whatever you say designed by you because we are not following the same sketch as I have done and you will also not follow the same thing that I am doing so of course it is your design so let's uh, let's go to the third option right over here so for that as you can see it is has a simple uh, thing right over here again first this and then again two lines right over here select this line do mirror do mirror and say no after this you have to select the command fillet and you have to fillet this thing it is a bit bigger so we'll just pull it a bit okay i think this is okay so after this you have to join these three things because you want uh, another a full backrest and armrest combined kind of a thing just press j enter which is join command right over here as you can uh, read right over here join three found so these three lines are joined after this you have to make an offset i'm of course doing through i told you at first that i'm not considering any anthropometry or scale uh, this is just i'm teaching you how to make it and you can just make it on your own it is very simple okay so after this right over here and this trim it off you don't want it and voila again, another another third chair is ready for you to use let's move forward to the third uh, to the fourth sorry we just made the third so this is the fourth okay so what we are going to do is we're going to make simple three lines again and for this we are not going to do sharp curves as we did right over here so if you don't like this sharp curves there is an option of doing uh, again the same command as fillet just select uh, f enter then you have to select the command right over here which is radius just write radius whatever you want and let's say i'll choose 10 and whatever you choose 20 or anything like that according to, according to your scale uh, so just uh, make it that thing that according to your scale then you have to make the back of it then offset it offset it uh, as whatever length you want then again the same command of fillet on the both side then uh, select the four components that that you just did the fillet on join them as one component right over here 
and then copy the same component at your back as you can see here it is joined but we will do it differently so we are not joining it and we will just make a line right over here which are the supports of uh, the chair and your fourth chair is also ready to use as your own CAD, CAD block and no one will tell you that you are using a CAD block just tell them I'm using my own thing and if you uh, if you think that this thing is a big more then you can also stretch it and make it small it is very easy nothing big to move that or else you can just move it uh, uh, inside like this at whatever place you want and you can just place it wherever you want and just trim off the extra edges to make the chair in your scale so this is also really really simple so let's go on with the fifth design which is right over here for this we are going to make a smaller line right over here and we are going to copy the same line a bit ahead right over here after this we are going to make two diagonal lines uh, closing off the ortho of course i am not taking care of the angles right now you can do it as per your design uh, turn on the ortho mirror the slant line and say no then then use the command arch and select the two points right over here and just make a simple arch you can also edit the arch right over here as per you want i'm so i'm doing it yeah i'm doing it this way then what you do is select the arch that you just made mirror it say no and it, as you can see your uh, base of your chair is just ready and now we are going to make the back support of it so the same way as we did over here then we're going to offset through and through as whatever we want so just delete this thing and you can make your own back support as you want as per your design so we are going to specify a bigger and a better back support on this because this is a bit thin so it doesn't feel so good i don't know i've just created on my own so you can also create it on your own okay so just join it and if you want that you want to increase it you can just scale it right over here by selecting it and you can just you know you can just scale it as c is the short form of scale and you can just scale it as whatever you want you want it smaller you want it bigger it's your design you can do whatever you want so this design is now also ready for you to use now let's go on with the uh, sixth design which is also very simple i think i'll just show you which is a thing we have not done this is also simple i think the teachings from uh, that i have shown this is very simple and this is also you will do i think this too will cover in this video so there's something left for the second video right so for this one right over here we have to make a circle then uh, after that you have to uh, make an arch which is right over here and you just make it uh, let's say you just make it like this yeah it's okay <coughs> and you set it right over here it is all good set then offset it as I told in the starting only that I am not going to use any scale or anthropometry. You do it on your own. So yeah, so this is also a very simple uh, chair ready for you. Right over here, which is also very simple. And this is a rectangular thing. It is in white, so you can also not uh, see it and draw. So I'll just uh, show you by drawing of this. We'll use a rectangle command right over here. In another rectangle command for the handle which will be right over here the same handle we will mirror it right over here we'll say no and same we will do it for our backrest which is right over here okay we'll have to like oh oops it has become very small so we'll just join the line you have you just you got the concept right guys 
so yeah right now we only made seven cat blocks right over here in less than 30 minutes i seem nothing that you should go and find for hours for a cat block you can just draw it on your own because it will always stay on your own because this is what i had sketched and scanned for you to uh, for me to teach you but as you can see it has come out totally different so every time you design it will come out totally different so don't worry about it just go for it and it is that simple to draw a chair in autocad so yeah guys thank you for watching and share it with someone who may need it thank you